Okay, greetings fellow pay folk, Blue Knight Cat here, and welcome back to Shadow of Tumor. I woke up early. I just, I couldn't get back to sleep, so here we are. Nope, okay. I don't know why I woke up early, I just did. That didn't work. Uh, okay, how am I supposed to get over there then? That's okay. I don't have to get it. I just have to find out how to get over there. And grab a bunch of crap. Maybe it's this way. I can help. Well, I found the thing, though. Location found. Hidden. Terrain difficult to traverse. Seems safe from the stranger's intent on forcing us into slavery. Got that document. Open this. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, can I change into something with a bonus? No, of course not. I was hoping. So now I have to get back up there. I don't know what that's about. Documents. And in here. Yes. I usually record during the day, so no light. <laughs> do, 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 do. Cut to me. I forgot to make you high priority. Whoops. There we go. 
All fixed. Is gone. Whoop. This must be the red fungus Amru mentioned in his letter. It's obviously deadly. Cutting the rope will lower the cannon. Okay. Trinity must have put these here. They should still be functional. Oops. The cannon might be able to blow that barrier out of my way. Okay. Fungus of Doom. My dearest Sairi, I'm leaving this for you here at the gateway to my greatest fear in case I do not return. Trinity have, on more than one occasion, offered me the opportunity to join their number, and for several reasons I've delayed giving them a final answer. But I can delay no longer. They can provide the resources we need to feed Paititi and rescue our city from this terrible famine. So I put my fears aside, willing to risk even my very life for our people. And if I should pay the ultimate price, know that I did so with pride and with no regrets. Your loving brother, always, Amaru. Aww. Yeah, starvation pushes people to crazy things. I didn't realize I landed right on a trap. Up. Let's, let's go up. Oh, more red fungus. Oh, and their temple. The gate wasn't just for protection. It was to hide this tomb. And Amaru knew it was here. Yep. And this fungus seems like growing on dead bodies. <sighs> Which I guess is not a good thing. The spores are too deadly to cross, but I can't pry my way through that barrier. Okay, so we go yeah. this way. <clears throat> oh. I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon. Yeah, but there's a lot of spores. I'm going to assume if I land in the spores, I'm probably going to be dead. I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon. I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon. Hi, Foxy. <clears throat> I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon.
The sledge needs to be in the same lane as the cart. The sledge needs to be in the same lane as the cart. I'm working the sledge on it. needs to be in the same lane as the cart. down. The sledge needs to be in the same lane as the cart. I'm guessing that's the sledge over there. <sighs> mm. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the sledge over there. <clears throat> so I have to pull it more this way. The cart can be moved onto the sledge. Don't get too close. You see there? Me. <laughs> If I move the cart into the other lane, it'll line up with the cannon. Change the headphones, it's not going to remove them. I can use the crank to move the cart. Okay. I have to do it again and get to the lift faster. There's a lift. I can use the crank to move the cart. Right, because I can't go get it myself due to the fungus. So I have to ride it. Ew. Nope. Hmm. 
I have to do it again and get to the lift faster. I'm at the lift. <clears throat> I'm confused. Or do you mean the other lift? She might mean that other lift. Can I jump up there? Yeah. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have to get the cart underneath the lift. Doing that, they'll put the thing higher. Got it. Now, let's see if I can do this. Now that's underneath. All right, this should be good. There we go. You fired the cannon. And don't die. <laughs> gold I will take you so what's this way then that leads to the same place okay just checking for goodies Oh God, so many bodies. I have to avoid those spores. Yeah. Haha, uh -huh. I'm here. What does this give me? I know it gives me something. Raptors, I aim your enemies to tag them with a persistent tracker. Okay. Don't this back up too far. construction is a test for the leadership of Trinity. If Amaru had fully committed to Trinity sooner. They would have given him the food then, before Sairi went hunting and got killed. I will never hesitate again. Amaru was making a promise to his dead brother, in a language no other Pytetian could read. There is one person who can confirm all of this for me. Okay. And that completes that DLC. Yay!
Okay. Back to the old man. Where's the old man at again? Guess it's there. What are you doing, Foxy? I love you, but what are you doing? If you're trying to steal my feather clips, don't. If you're my intention, you succeeded. It's you again. Did you find what you're looking for? I think so. More than I was expecting. You look troubled. What's on your mind? Did you ever see Amaru back here after... after the famine? You mean after his brother died? I told you they were inseparable. When Sairi died, a part of Amaru died along with him. Not long after it happened, he came back here once. And then never again. He devoted himself entirely to the cult of Kukulkan. I guess his brother's death changed his priorities forever. Thank you. Even more helpful than I can say. Okay. Koryanka was right. This wheel is important to Amaru. It might be the most precious thing he owns. We have no reason and no right to keep it from him. Oh, I found another thingy, though. ceremonial whistle used during human sacrifices. The sound emitted from the skull-shaped instrument has been compared to the tormented screams of the dying and the dead. Its shrill cry is said to clear a path to the underworld for the recently deceased. The death whistle has also been used as an instrument of war, its cry striking fear into the heart of the unknowing enemy. Oh yeah, if you don't know what it is, I can see how that would be terrifying. Uh, map. So where am I going? Um. Come on. Uh, you're on the other side. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, in that case, I'm going to save and leave this episode here. If you enjoy, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you can, support me on Patreon. Links are in the description below. I'll see you next time.